Colombo, capital of Ceylon, youngest of the Dominions, is the setting for a vital Commonwealth conference. Here at this strategic center in Southeast Asia, delegates will assemble in the Senate building to tackle the problem that strikes at the roots of the Asiatic world, the problem of China. Latest pictures from China show General Mao Zedong reviewing his victorious red troops, now poised for the rounding up stages of their campaign. With British investments in China totaling nearly 200 million pounds, the government's recognition of General Mao was inevitable. It is, in the words of the Foreign Office, a recognition of fact and not a mark of approbation. Here in Formosa, the nationalists have pledged themselves to a last-ditch stand and General Chiang Kai-shek appealed to the Western world for aid. Little was forthcoming and the General's wife went to Washington to plead personally with President Truman, but without success. Before leaving again for Formosa, Madame Chiang said this of her husband. A few years ago, he was exalted for the courage and the tenacity of the fight he waged. Now, he is pilloried. Russia will never know one day of peace in China. Russia will never own China. China will remain free. That was the situation that faced the Commonwealth statesmen at Colombo. With India's premier, garlanded Pandit Nehru, leading those in favor of General Mao, the dominions agreed to differ over China. Although Nehru urged that the big powers should forget Chiang Kai-shek, Canada, represented by Foreign Minister Lester Pearson, Australia and New Zealand decided to continue their support of the Formosa government. On other problems on the agenda, the dominions acted as one. As Mr. Bevin said on his arrival in the launch from the cruiser Kenya, the economic defense of Asia against communism was the main task for the conference. On measures to meet this threat, all the delegates were agreed. The Colombo meeting sets an example to the world that cooperation between white men and colored, between nations thousands of miles apart, is not only possible, but effective and workable.